Hi everyone, in today's lesson we will be covering dinosaurs and related English vocabulary. This video is a special request from a subscriber, Umu Bot Storytime and her son. So if you have a request for a video topic, make sure to leave a comment. As usual, I'll be posting all the English words covered in this lesson in the description below. I will also be linking related vocabulary lessons on screen throughout the video. Let's jump straight into our lesson with our first word, reptile. All dinosaurs are reptiles. And dinosaurs share common ancestors with all the reptiles that we have on the planet today. They are all part of a natural group of animals called dinosauria. Dinosaurs first emerged in the Triassic period. This was about 243 to 233 million years ago. One of the earliest known dinosaurs is the Eoraptor. This dinosaur was quite small and a little bit bigger than a chicken. Dinosaurs soon became the dominant terrestrial vertebrates on the planet. This means that they were at the top of the food chain. These dinosaurs that walked on the earth are best known as non-avian dinosaurs and they survived until a time period known as the Cretaceous period. This was about 66 million years ago. At this time, an asteroid impact occurred on Earth. This was really bad news for the planet and even worse for the animals who lived during this time. This event is thought to be the main reason for the extinction of the dinosaurs. We would say in English that this is how the dinosaurs went extinct. However, not all dinosaurs went extinct. Did you know that birds are an ancestor of dinosaurs? In fact, in English, scientifically, they can be referred to as avian dinosaurs or flying dinosaurs. So dinosaurs are still very much alive today. Modern birds are descended from dinosaurs such as the raptor. In the time of the dinosaurs, flying beasts were known as pterosaurs. These huge flying beasts were the masters of the skies during the time of the dinosaurs. However, they aren't related to modern birds. And it's now commonly accepted that lots of dinosaurs had feathers. Living at the same time as the dinosaurs were huge sea creatures. Although they share many similarities with dinosaurs, they are actually classed as nothosaurs. And one of the earliest types of nothosaurs was the plesiosaur which first appeared around 203 million years ago. All this fascinating data and information on dinosaurs is collected by a person called a paleontologist. They study ancient life from dinosaurs to plants to fungi and even ancient microbes. And with dinosaurs, they have discovered almost a thousand different species. When they work outside, the location of their work is called a dig site. This is where they perform a excavation. This is where they find the remains of dinosaurs, which are known as fossils. Fossils are the preserved remains of ancient organisms. And paleontologists have found thousands of fossilized remains of dinosaurs. One of the earliest paleontologists was Sir Richard Owen, who coined the phrase of dinosaur in 1841. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard in Greek. Sir Richard Owen was involved in one of the first classifications of dinosaur, the Iguanodon. They lived about 126 to 122 million years ago. They were large, bulky creatures which weighed over three tons. Because of the work of paleontologists, dinosaur remains are on display in museums around the world. And they are a big part of popular culture. There doesn't seem to be a year that goes by without some type of dinosaur appearing in a Hollywood movie. Most famous of all is the Jurassic Park movie franchise. And it's possible to go to a theme park and ride the Jurassic Park roller coaster. Probably the most famous dinosaur that everyone knows is Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short. Tyrannosaurus rex lived throughout what is now known as Western North America. Fossils found of the T-Rex are dated from between 68 to 66 million years ago. 
Another well-known dinosaur is the Velociraptor, and on screen I'm going to show you how scientists think it might have looked with feathers. The difference in how they are presented to us is quite interesting. The Velociraptor is also shown in lots of movies, but again, it's more likely that you're going to see it without its feathers. Like many dinosaurs, the Velociraptor was a carnivore, an animal which only eats meat. But there were dinosaurs who only ate plant life. They are called herbivores. And what about those animals who eat both meat and plant life? We know them as an omnivore. Dinochirus was a dinosaur which lived about 70 million years ago and it was an omnivore. It hunted prey and ate plant life. If you're new to my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. I hope you're enjoying the lesson. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to subscribe to get all my videos. Our next group of dinosaurs is called the sauropods and they are the largest living creatures ever to have walked the earth. In popular culture, there are three well-known species, including Brontosaurus, which means a thunder lizard in Greek. There is also Brachiosaurus, which was estimated to be about 21 meters high. Another sauropod is Diplodocus, which lived about 154 million years ago. And these are the longest known of the dinosaurs with a length of up to 27 meters. Our next dinosaur is the largest of all known terrestrial carnivores, Spinosaurus. They lived in the Cretaceous period and they were longer and heavier than the famous Tyrannosaurus rex. Another well-known dinosaur in popular culture is Stegosaurus, which means roof lizard. They were categorized by their distinctive kite-like upright plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. These large herbivore creatures lived about 155 to 145 million years ago. We also have Triceratops. Triceratops were one of the last living known dinosaurs and their name in Greek means three horned face. And Triceratops brings us to the end of this English lesson on dinosaurs. Don't forget to check out the word list in the description. And thanks again to Umabot Storytime and your son for your video suggestion. If you have a video suggestion, get in touch in the comments below. And you should also head over to my YouTube channel where I have a full range of English lessons waiting for you to learn lots of new vocabulary. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions, especially for you, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that to get all my videos. That just leaves me to say, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.